All right, it's 4.25 p.m. on a August afternoon. The Harbor Freight panel on the left is rated at 100 watts, and the Jackery Solar Saga is rated at 60 watts. So we're just gonna see in the real world at the same moment, just switching back and forth, which solar panel is getting a better reading into the Jackery. So if you wanna see a size comparison, obviously, obviously the Harbor Freight panel is much larger, both set up and folded, so. Okay, so we have a cloud going overhead at the moment, and the Jackery is reading 27 watts. I'm just going to unplug it really quick, so you can see um, it's not a different time. <laughs> and in the same instant, the Solar Saga 60 pulling 12 watts. So, big drop off there in the clouds. So we'll do it again real quick. So, Solar Saga getting 12 watts. And the Harbor Freight panel pulling more and more and more because the sun's coming out. So we're going to plug in the Solar Saga really quick. Okay, so now we're getting 36 watts, 37. Climbing because the sun's coming out from behind the clouds. I was hoping to see this thing go up to full wattage. Oh, cloud back down. All right, we're pulling 11 watts at this moment. I'm going to switch it out for the Harbor Freight panel. Just want you to know I'm not fiddling with the panels. <laughs> it's the right, it's this exact panel I'm saying it is. All right, so 30 watts. Everyone, okay. 31 watts versus. Alternative. Okay, so clouds are getting a little thinner. 33, so this is going back up as the clouds part. Now it's Harbor Freight. Now we're back to the Solar Saga panel. Okay, so partial clouds. 19 watts. Man, that's a big difference. All right, the clouds are parting. You can feel the sun. Coming back out, back up to 36. All right, we're down to 11 watts on the Solar Saga. We're down to 10, a thicker cloud going over right now. So we're gonna switch really quick to the Harbor Freight panel. So you can see where we're at, 11 watts. We're gonna get, what are we gonna get? Thirty-three. Wow, it's so different in the clouds. Okay, we're down to twenty-six, twenty-five on the Harbor Freight. So even when it's cloudy, or specifically when it's cloudy, the Harbor Freight, even though it is not double the wattage rating, seems like we're getting over double the wattage rating. So that's not a good sign for the Solar Saga guy here. No, you're saying, oh, this isn't a head-to-head. -head. But man, if you're spending 300 watt, if you're spending 300 dollars on a 100 watt solar panel, you are not probably shopping for a Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel. All right, so we're up to 36. Clouds are getting a little thinner. 39, 40, 42. I just want to see how high this will go, and then put in the other one really quick. All right, so we're kind of topping out there on 45 watt in the clouds. So we're at 36 at this moment. Not very stable because of the clouds. But all right, we'll go for it anyway. Ready, switch. Went from 33 when I pulled it. Ah, bigger cloud. I don't know if that's a good... Back down to 11 watts. So we're... Man. <laughs> okay. Let's see this cloud thin out, hopefully. Ay, 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 ay. All right, so while this one's still holding 11, we'll switch back.
27. So 11 to 27. Man, it's over two and a half times. Okay. All right. Cloud thinned, and we're at 62 watts on the Harbor Freight panel. So I'm going to pull it really quick. That should be the max that the input will even allow. Now the Solar Saga cable's back in. We're hovering at 27, 26. Ah, uh, man, this thing's not even getting half. All right, the clouds are parting a little bit, and we're up to 33, 32 watts with the Solar Saga. Man, I want to see that thing top out. All right, so we're getting 30. This is with the Solar Saga. Got up to 36. This is still the highest I've seen it go. 36 watts. Back down. All right, now I'm going to pull it and put the uh, Harbor Freight cable back in. Yeah, see, that's pulling 60 in the exact same moment. So, okay, so we're pulling 61 watts, which is effectively the top, since it's going to be limited to a 60-watt input into the battery. So I'm going to pull out the Harbor Freight panel cable again. Get the Solar Saga plug back in, see what we can get. Alright, up to 30, still <laughs> maxing out at 36. Come on! This is the best I could, I've seen it do. It's 36 watts in partial clouds. Whereas the Harbor Freight is able to do 60 watts in partial clouds at the same moment. Oh, 37, we're climbing. Oh, 38. All right, 39, maybe that was the highest I've seen it. Let's see it go to 40, I haven't seen it go to 40 yet. Oh, the sun's warming up, I feel like it's about to hit it. Yeah, 40 watts, okay. Oh, it's climbing, it's climbing. So in partial clouds, can't quite hit that limiter of 60 watts, but we've got over 40 now. Forty-two. I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. I'm gonna justify this thing. <laughs> My wife's like, "You ordered another solar panel. What's that for?" I was like, "Cause it was on sale in the warehouse." All right, got up to forty-five. I have to say, it is in a partial cloud still, so that's a good sign. Here, maybe it's a. Uh, Sun's coming out even more. Let's see what we can do. Oh, down actually. Come on, guys. So at this moment, we've got 42 watts going into the Jackery from the Solar Saga panel. All right, so I'm going to swap this really quick. 42 watts going to the Harbor Freight panel, and we are getting what are we getting? Over 60 watts. So yeah, so obviously the Harbor Freight panel is a larger panel. I always thought it was just uh, limiting the limiter. I don't know what it's actually pulling. You know, if this wasn't limited to 60 watts, it would pull 70 watts or 80 watts. I don't know. I understand that solar panels rarely reach their stated potential as far as wattage input. All right, so we're going to go from 62 watts switch cables we're back on the solar saga and we are at 41 so at least it's uh pulling uh, about two-thirds uh, versus less than half but it was in the clouds so the clouds would be the big concern obviously you always want more wattage than less wattage going in when it comes to recharging your batteries you want it to go as quick as possible All right, so we're in the haze, pulling 39 watts. Just to reiterate, we'll just swap these again. And we're going to get our full potential out of wager. Yeah. All right, so there you go, 60 watts. From the Harbor Freight.
And mind you, this is in hazy conditions, so it seems like the weak point is probably going to be in the haze. I bet it would be much closer percentage-wise in good light. Okay, so at similar moments, just swapping back and forth, it seemed pretty obvious that the clouds and haze gave the Solar Saga panel a bit of a hard time, and it would pull less than 60% of the wattage of the Harbor Freight panel. So when the Harbor Freight panel is pulling 50, for instance, the Solar Saga is pulling 22 or 20 watts, which is obviously a lot less than 60%. So that's not a good sign. I'm gonna try on a bright, clear, sunny day, midday, what should be optimal conditions for a solar panel. We'll see if the Solar Saga 60 can get closer to its max wattage rating. Hopefully it can. I'm really hoping so. All right.